And that's been happening with a lot of other victims that have been contacting me. <laughs> Just recently today, I've heard from two other victims that, that experienced the same thing that I experienced. They were younger. The drama surrounding TD Jake appears to be intensifying once more. This man is taking center stage, not as a messenger from God, but rather as an unexpected attendee at a hip hop festival. You heard correctly. Imagine TD Jake attending things at a rapper's twerking party when Diddy is in the mix rather than preaching. Well, he continues to deny everything, but stories about this peculiar gathering of the wicked and the spiritual were circulating, causing gossip mills to churn. It might soon become apparent that the disgraced bishop is actually guilty and will be going to jail for his misbehavior in a recently disclosed chapter of his misfortunes. Are ready to press charges and they said that they will press. Are prepared to pursue charges and they made the commitment to do so. Often praised for his spiritual abilities, T.D. Jakes therefore, it was not wholly shocking to many that his encounter with controversy wasn't new. For years, Jake had been under fire for his relationships with wealthy people who the general public thought were sketchy. And this time, he's not getting away with it by keeping quiet. I know who I am. Therefore, I'm not coming to convince you or anybody else. According to recent disclosures from individuals impacted by T.D. Jake's actions and demeanor, the pastor may not be the perfect saint that his devotees thought him to be. A darker picture was painted by controversy after scandal, casting doubt on his once untarnished reputation. T.D. Jake, the boundary breaker, walks a tight line between the sacred and the scandalous. Because of his fame and popularity, there is no doubt about this when the curtain descends on this story of spiritual intrigue. The story around Jake's possible imprisonment began to converge, making it harder to distinguish between accusations and innocence. As allegations against the bishop gathered traction, doubts began to surface regarding his impeccable reputation. The tempest grew worse when not one, but two people spoke up, telling of strange experiences they had as children with the preacher. I've learned from two other victims that it's just too much to discuss as of late. To exacerbate the chaos, the preacher's own son was embroiled in a comparable circumstance, supporting the veracity of the most recent accusations. The famous saying that goes, father like son, couldn't be truer. It appears that the pastor taught the same values to his own son. I mean, T.D. Jakes, whose church launched him into the public eye, got entangled in a number of unforeseen news stories, and his past dirty activities started to come to light to, to further tarnish his impeccable reputation. One such startling discovery was his son-in-law, who was exhibiting extremely unhealthy conduct. It appears that the entire family is corrupt, and this puts a dark stain on the bishop, who is said to have corrupted the family's minds through his own unhealthy example. Plus two of the perpetrators, the oldest daughter of Bishop T. Jakes, Cora Jakes Coleman, unexpectedly filed for divorce from her husband, Richard Coleman, in 2022. This is a very private and personal problem, and I politely ask for your prayers while I prioritize myself, and most importantly, my children's well-being at this time. She wrote on her social media after announcing her split without providing a reason. Subsequently, it came to light that Richard had been charged with grave wrongdoing concerning his adopted daughter, a development that placed doubt on T.D. Jakes. Yes, he is the venerable founder of the prominent South Dallas church known as Potter's House. But now that his son-in-law is in this glaringly different situation, the conversation regarding T.D. Jakes' personal transgressions started to revolve. Everyone is aware of this. Oh my God, they are God's holy men, and they will carefully select and prepare their victims. With the new bombshell revelations, it appears that many masks will come off and the real nature of this man will become more apparent. Evident for several individuals, as one person observed that TD is merely a spokesperson for prosperity. He's able to convince people to jump around for an hour and then stop. I once listened to his sermon, said another user. Not biblical enough, there was no Jesus and no Holy Spirit. A hollow, spiritless, stuffed, deluded prosperity gospel. The preacher's son and his son-in-law became caught up in an odd controversy. 
which put an end to the already dubious situation. Manasseh Jordan, one of the preacher's former mentees, openly stated in a recent video that accusations against the preacher himself could soon appear in court. There will be charges brought against them. According to Jordan, those who were allegedly affected by the powerful bishop are preparing to file a lawsuit against him. Recall the assertions I made earlier. They are disclosing text messages, which is exactly what they relate to, so they are not arriving empty-handed. Bishop T.D. Jakes's former protege, Mamasi Jordan, disclosed that other victims have come forward, reflecting his views. It is well known that Jordan used to find comfort in the bishop's advice, but now that he appears to have escaped the grasp of the supposed enemy, he is using his platform to help others. However, I'm a truth teller who wants victims who have gone through this to know that we see them. Jordan revealed in a video he posted on December 30th the number of new victims who are making accusations against Bishop T.D. Jakes. According to Jordan, the bishop allegedly groomed the individuals he spoke with and subjected them to horrifying behaviors. Jordan said, What are you meant to? While narrating the horrifying stories of the victims who talked about incidents that Bishop T.D. Jays reportedly carried out in the film. Why interests you? You must tell Daddy everything, I said, to try to reassure you and help you become comfortable with their victim. They try to do so by being verbose and telling a story about a goose. Finding the light in the midst of this darkness is crucial in this day and age of deceit and power struggles. And as more information regarding T.D. Jake's connections and cooperation with other criminals is revealed, it becomes evident that he will pay a price beyond simply facing criticism from the public. And if victims receive more media attention, his freedom could be in jeopardy. They also experience invisibleness. Yes, I think I can get away with it. All I have to do is present my church with a statement. All I have to do is inform them. Furthermore, a lot of people were moved by Jordan's video, which sparked conversations on social media. The whole truth of this drama is still unknown. Therefore, people should carefully consider the ramifications in the absence of the whole picture. Even before these most recent accusations, T.D. Jake's record wasn't exactly spotless, and he doesn't seem to feel that he needs to explain himself or apologize to everyone. All of these predators advocate denial as a strategy. I don't mind if you say whatever you want to say. To accomplish my work, I came. But he's too large and famous to escape the attention, particularly in light of the current controversy involving rapper Diddy and well-known cleric T.D. Jakes, which is evidence of this changing online environment. Known for his spiritual teachings, Jakes unexpectedly gained attention on social media, not for his spiritual counsel, but rather because of his connections to the disgraced music mogul. An abundance of conjecture and conspiracy ideas emerged as a result of the surprising connection between these apparently unrelated individuals. Even though Seen Combs, also known as Diddy, has faced criticism in the past, this most recent discovery adds even more fuel to the rapper's already divisive public persona. T.D. Jakes is also affected by the ruckus surrounding the charges that have surfaced about Diddy's past relationship with Cassie including reports of violent altercations and other delicate matters. Currently, a fourth lady is suing the music mogul. At the center of these incredible allegations were stories of lavish parties that Diddy was said to have thrown. Tidings circulated that T.D. Jakes was a regular guest, which only served to fuel the speculative fires. With Diddy front and center, this bombshell video went viral and left Bishop Jake's staff trying to patch up the holes in his deteriorating reputation by announcing that recent rumors regarding Bishop T.D. Jakes that have been making the rounds on several social media platforms are categorically untrue and unfounded. Many followers participated in the discussion when word spread about his alleged relationship to Diddy. Some even said this was just the beginning. If the victims start coming forward, more hidden details about the ministry's operations and Jake's presence at Diddy's parties might come to light. Two of the victims who told their stories are people I know. During a recent YouTube broadcast search session, the preacher seemed to address the accusations in the midst of the uproar and accusations circulating on social media. In a passionate reply, 
Jake strongly denied the accusations as being wholly untrue. Seemingly hoping to dispel any misgivings, he anticipated that his forceful preaching would have an impact on the audience. He cherishes his freedom, and it's obvious that he doesn't want to lose his position of authority. But when more people show up with proof, his popularity is at an all-time low.